Good Friday, everyone. Our weather map for today shows scattered showers in our neck of the woods. The uh, bulk of the storm activity from last night especially kind of dived um, southeast of us and uh, just missed us here on the plateau. But you know we need the rain for springtime vegetation, but we'll we'll take a, a we'll we'll take the storms taking a different track. Some of those were a little rowdy, so. And that could have made some noise, but uh, looking elsewhere across the country, we see some snowflakes flying across portions of Minnesota and North Dakota, and a few more flying out west, but uh, all in all, not, not too bad of a day. Look our five-day forecast brought to you by Clearview Closet and Blind. Today, 50% chance for some scattered showers and some thunderstorms. We'll see those develop off and on through the day. I'm seeing a few pop up on radar right now over around Nashville. and We'll see stuff like that kind of pop up as we go through today. So just keep an eye on the radar and uh, keep your hand on the umbrella just in case. Highs in the low 70s. Just a light southwest winds, 5 to 10. Saturday, looking partly cloudy. Highs in the mid-60s with a north wind 10 to 15, gusts to 20, so it's going to be a bit breezy. Um, and then Sunday um, is now looking just mostly cloudy. I know we've gone back and forth with isolated showers or just mostly cloudy, So, but you get the drill. Even if we add the shower back, it's not a washout by any stretch of the imagination. Highs in the mid to upper 50s. And then the sun comes out in earnest on Monday and Tuesday, and that sends temperatures up into the low 60s on Monday and low 70s on Tuesday. Tuesday, the winds start picking up a little bit more, I will note. Uh, southwest winds 10 to 15 gusts to 20, and that's because that's about to blow in our next storm system moving in from the west. Looking at your lunchtime forecast for your Friday, looks like a temperature close to 70 degrees, falling just shy of that. Just a chance for a shower, that rain chance about 30%. And just a light northwest breeze at 10 miles per hour. Premier Generators brings us our threat graphic. And I'm sure Premier Generators would agree that they are proud to help us say there are no current threats for the next five days. On this day in 1976, the Northeast U.S. was in the midst of an early season heat wave. The Boston Marathon took place in 90 degree heat. Now that's happened down here in Nashville with the Rock and Roll St. Jude Marathon. Yours truly has experienced that. And let me tell you something, that is miserable. That is the most miserable race you can possibly do when it is so hot. Um, and look at that, Providence, Rhode Island, the mercury hit 98. Lord have mercy. I mean, that is crazy for this time of the year in that part of the country. 1996, one of the most memorable tornado outbreaks in Illinois history occurred on April 19th, 1996. During the day, 33 tornadoes were reported. Supercells erupted and moved across the state during the afternoon and evening. Some of the tornadoes had 170 mile per hour winds, ugh, one of which ripped through nearby Ogden, Illinois. So a rough day for those folks with tornadoes for sure. We've been lucky this spring, and we've not had too much trouble, and let's hope that holds true. Um, that tends to be the case sometimes with El Nino Springs. You know, it seems to be a kind of a trend with, with the El Nino, but uh, maybe we can thank that. I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll see how the rest of the spring goes. I'm not ready to call it just yet because we still got a lot, a lot left to go, but uh, hopefully, we'll, hopefully Mother Nature will be good to us the rest of the spring. You folks have a wonderful Friday, and keep looking up. For more weather information, meteorologistmark.com.